Hello everyone and welcome. I hope you're all keeping safe and well at home. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mrs Carlton and I teach art and photography. What we're going to be doing today, um, hopefully I'm going to be trying to teach you a new skill and we're going to be learning a little bit about origami and we're going to be making a little bird, a little crane bird. So, for those of you who don't know, origami it originates in Japan. It's a really ancient tradition. It's been practiced for well over 400 years in Japan and it translates literally to paper folding. The crane bird is one of the most common things that people make in origami, I think. It's very practical and it's quite simple um, once you get the hang of it. And in Japan, the crane is seems to be, said to be quite powerful. Legend has it that if you are hoping for good health and happiness, the legend is that if you make a thousand crane birds, um, you can, you're given a gift from the gods. And that gift is usually of good health and happiness for the future. So let's try and make as many crane birds as we can for a good, for good future and for a good health for all of us so we can get through, this, uh, get through this challenging time. So let's get started. What do we need? You need a small square piece of paper. How I do that, I fold a triangle in any scrap paper. This is just recycled paper that I'm using. Um, and then the extra piece, I just cut that off. And that's how you get a perfect square. Just cut off that extra rectangle. So that's your first fold, long triangle. Open it up, turn the other way, make another triangle. You've got to make sure your creases are really nice and sharp in origami. Open that up and then you fold it into a rectangle. Press along the line so you get nice crisp creases. Open again and in the opposite direction you make another rectangle. So you've basically folded it into eight triangles. With the triangle pointing towards you, you then take one side and you're folding the side in. So you're making it almost like a diamond shape. I'll do that again on the other side. Fold it in, put that side in, press down, and you make a small diamond shape. And I'll keep it, all your creases nice and crisp. Make sure all the open section is towards your body. Fold one side in. Imagine you're making a kite shape. And then you do the same on the other side. Make like a small kite shape. Press that down. Turn it over, fold one side in, make a kite on the other side. There's lots of repetition in origami, especially where the shape, the object is quite balanced. And then fold in the other side as well. So you've got a kite. This top flap, this triangle, you need to fold that over. That eventually will be the body of the bird. Okay, so you just folded that. Once you've opened up the shape, these are basically pre-folds and they're going to help you form what will eventually be the wings and the body. And you fold these two shapes in on themselves to make almost like a long diamond shape like that. See, that's going to be your wing. Turn it over, open these shapes out, lift and press those rectangles you folded in and in press it down so it's nice and sharp and get everything nice and crisp so if you look at the shape these two long triangles are going to be your wings this small triangle is your body and these two bits which are like legs are actually going to be the tail and the neck of the bird so you take the first bit and you fold that in you press it down get a nice long crease Fold that into the centre again, to the middle, press it down. So you've made almost like a smaller kite. Turn it over, fold it in, press it down. Almost finished now. Fold it in. Paper gets quite stiff, that's why it's important to use quite thin paper. Press it down, that's why magazines are quite good because the paper's quite light. So these are almost like legs, I always think. Uh, these are your wings and that's your body. Now this bit's a bit fiddly, but you're almost finished. You open up the side and you kind of pop up that triangle. Pop it up and then fold it out, like so. 
I'll do it again on the other side. Open up this side, pop it up, fold it out. Just like that. Have a look at it. The pointier side, I always say make that the tail. And the side, that there's always one side that's a bit bent. I don't know why. I always make that into the head. And I fold that on over and I make that into like a little bird head. And then you open up your wings, pop your body, and that's how you make your little crane bird. Okay. So there you have it. That's how you make a crane bird. It's a simple technique, but have a go at it. Try and make a few. If between all of us we try and make a thousand, hopefully we can offer that wish and prayer to the universe um, for good health and happiness for all of us. And I'll see you soon. Take care and uh, all the best. Ciao.